Man, I have peed this day away. I got something I'm going to do. I have spent the morning trying to put together a couple of good weed eaters out of a whole bunch of junk weed eaters. And these were cheap, cheap. Walmart sold them. They were called Hyper Tough. And they were anything but. And they're so cheap you can't even change out the weed eater spool heads. Uh, ridiculous. They're, they're stamped on. And to get them off, you just got, got to break them to get them off. And that's what I did. I, I had three of them, and I cut one off just to see how on earth they were held on. And they were held on by this washer uh, pressed on that you can't get off without breaking the washer. And uh, anyway, they won't run. They have no compression. I did get one cranked, but it doesn't have enough power to keep itself running because... It's, uh, it has absolutely no pressure. Just, and each one of these, we use them barely for uh, a season. So I think back then they were, I don't know, 89 or 90 bucks, and they weren't even worth that. And there's nothing on them that you can take off for parts to make, you know, a bunch of them work or one work out of three of them because they're not replaceable parts. you got to break them to get them off. I did uh, put new fuel lines on one thinking... Well, maybe that's why I hung it up and put it away, because the fuel lines were leaking. So I replaced the fuel lines and uh, tried cranking it, and then I realized that I should have done that first because it has no compression at all. So anyway, that's what I've done this morning. I got a Echo and a Steel and one of the Walmart cheapies running. And uh, that's, that'll hold this for a while. So now... Yesterday, we went to Walmart mainly because I was looking for 30 weight oil, and I finally found on their website that said they had Super Tech oil, 30 weight oil in gallon jugs, and it was only 14 bucks. And I was going to go buy two gallons because I like putting 30 weight in my uh, lawnmowers because they run really hot, and it's hot here, so 30 weight is what we use. But I can't find it. Well, anyway, I found two 30 weight. Uh, quartz at Walmart. They did not have the gallon jugs. I'm thinking about ordering them online, and I got on Amazon, and you cannot find straight 30 weight oil. I don't know why. It's uh, all I want to use in this hot climate where we live for uh, air cooled engines. So there's that. And that's why I went into Walmart, and when I was over there, I bought these and i'm fixing to show you here in two seconds so i got eight of these little 97 cent solar lights and they pull out of their base so uh i'm gonna drill holes in the tops of these four by fours i got two over there and i'm just gonna put them here just because uh when the lights go out i'll be able to have some light over here and this is kind of a dark corner, and then right on the other side is dark as well. But uh, I'm going to put some here and probably a couple down there, down the hill. We'll see. All right, I got six of them up here. I'll see what they look like tonight. You know, I got a big light up here, so. But if the lights ever go out, we will have light over here. I got two left. Let me go find a place to put them. All right, I am down the hill here. I think I'm going to put one here and one on the next pole. And next time I go to Walmart, if there's any left for 97 cents, I'm going to buy another. Well, I'll count the poles I got left and I'll just put them on these poles down here. All right, let's get uh, a drill bit here. two hands i'll be right back all right i had to waller the hole out just a little bit
Yep. All right, one more. Okay, I'm back at the knife shop. I found out a little bit more about this. This was the Ranger with a patent number. And uh, I Googled the patent number. One nine six seven dash four seven nine. That patent number belongs to Western, which you know this does look like a Western knife, and this is the original sheath to that. So I've got you know a nice little I don't know I wouldn't say collector's item, but it's nice to know that it's all intact and the sheath belongs with a knife, and this is a Western made uh, knife and it was between 45 and 55 years, 1945 and 1955, when they allowed that patent number to be used by other companies, or they made knives with that patent number for other companies with their name on it. So Ranger is one of them. And uh, they also have, uh, Western also has their own knife with that patent number on it. And uh, it just says Western of Boulder, Colorado. Uh, God, what was it? L52 or L56 was the model number. This doesn't have a model number, but Westerns did have a model number with that patent number. So kind of interesting. All right, I, I'm in here for the rest of the day and I'm gonna sand my life away. This can be a nice little knife. I'm gonna sand everything that's, you know, has got some really bad sharpening. What is it with people? I, I was guilty of it too, but I was a child when I did it. Uh, putting a knife on a grinder and trying to get an edge on a knife, and they end up destroying the knife. Well, it's not destroyed, I can save it, but man, oh man, look at that. That's gonna be a lot of work. I don't even know what the other side looks like yet. <clears throat> yeah, the, the other side is just as bad. So, I got my work cut out for me. It's about 1, 1 30 in the afternoon. I'm just going to sand out here for two or three hours and then go home. Tomorrow, which is Friday, happy Friday, y'all. Uh, I have a funeral to go to in the late afternoon, and it's one of our own Patriot Guard members passed away. <coughs> and uh, Saturday, I have another funeral to go to, so uh, Friday and Saturday I'll be doing Patriot Guard stuff, doing Boomer stuff. All right, see you in a bit. Those were some serious, deep scratches, grinding marks, and uh, I had to go all the way back to 150 grit to sand them out. Let me shut this off. It seems to do better with... There we go. So, uh... I'm up to 180 now. I'm fixing it. That's 220. I'm fixing to go to 220. So uh, 220, 320, 400. And I think I can buff it. I'm not sure I'll get up to that today. My shoulders are killing me. That took some sanding. Now, these are hardened steel. So, you know, this is not, uh, you know, when I make my knives, I do all my sanding before I heat treat them. These are after heat treating and uh, it takes a lot more sandpaper and a lot more muscle to sand out scratches so looking pretty good got all the big scratches out and uh, it's going to shine up nice so i'm going to see what i can do with 220 and see how my arms feel after that all right man ah my arms are killing me i'm not kidding i gotta ride my motorcycle tomorrow my shoulders are going to be unforgiving so i got this sanded up to 400 look what i have got sanded out all them pits and all that bad grinding sharpening, all gone. That was a lot of work. Now I've sanded the handle a little bit, just enough to bring the black down to the level of the silver so it'll all shine up real nice. I uh, sanded some divots out of this. There's a couple of small ones, but those will buff up. All right, I'm going to spend about 20, 30 minutes on the buffer, and I'll be filthy nasty and have to take a shower just about immediately because uh, it gets everywhere. There's no avoiding it. All right, you good? You want to get down or you want to stay there for 20 minutes? So let me just say, 
This is what it looks like after sanding up to 400. And this is what it looks like now. My Lord, I just didn't think it would come out that nice. Good God, that's beautiful. But a lot of work. That was... Oh, about... I would say probably four hours of very hard sanding and about 30 minutes of buffing. I did not put an edge on it yet. I did, what I do, when I put my own edge on, what I do is put it on my belt grinder and I bring this edge down flat. So when I put an edge on, it's, uh, well, like this. Perfectly straight all the way across. No divots, no, uh, Areas that are steeper than others, and uh, it is razor sharp. But that's that's that one. This is that one, and this I didn't put an edge on it because I I got a lot of work to do handling it. Still, I got to clean this up. I got some sanding to do. I'm just gonna buff this. Uh, I'm not even sure that's got a chopping edge. I may touch the edge a little bit, but uh, I am going to buff this and I got to sand this handle and then I can make, it's a sheath for the axe and uh, on the front of it is a sheath for the knife. So there we go. I'm very proud of that. That come out just beautimous, absolutely beautimous. Fix it to go have some pulled pork barbecue sandwiches. Have a good Friday, y'all. Uh, Friday, I'll be uh, getting ready to go to a funeral. It's late afternoon. I've got to be there about four, so I may do a little something during the day. I don't want to get all sweaty and dirty and then go to a funeral. So I don't, I don't know. We'll see what I'm going to do. Have a good Friday, y'all.